Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control and today we're going to go over bird mites and what to do if these parasites are bothering you. This video was actually spurned on by a guy that called me. He called me on the phone. We spent about an hour talking on the phone about a bug that he had. He called them invisible bugs in his tractor trailer truck cab. So as we discussed over the phone, we found out that the place that he had had his truck parked before actually had a problem with pigeons. And pigeons carry a specific type of bird mite that can live for a year. They can feed on birds, but they don't need a blood meal regularly. They can live several months without a blood meal. So they don't need a pigeon. The typically the the if you call an exterminator with a bird mite problem, typically they will tell you that without if you get rid of your birds, you'll get rid of your mite problem. While that being true, Pigeon mites can live for months without a blood meal from a pigeon. Now, they will try to get a blood meal from you. They will bite you. They will gnaw at you. They are like fleas. They are miserable. They are absolutely miserable. And this person ended up infesting their tractor trailer truck with pigeon mites. So, the pigeons aren't living in the truck. Eventually, the pigeon mites will die because there's no bird to feed on. But, do you really want to wait months until this bug starves to death? That's the problem. So today we're going to go over how to eliminate bird mites and how to do it with success. So you don't have to be eaten alive by bird mites. So, for step one. All right, this is gonna be a step-by-step -step process, but it's pretty straightforward. It's not gonna be a really big video. So with preparation, we're gonna talk about preparing the area you're going to treat. So while bird mites do feed on birds and they do prefer birds, and they, w they, mean they will bite you. So this is why you're watching this video. You've got mites and they're aggravating you. So what you need to do is you need to eliminate the birds. If in this certain example I gave earlier, they would need to figure out ways to get the pigeons away from the uh, terminal where you know where they're parking their tractor trailer trucks. So that's number one. You need to do that. And there are lots of products out there that you can use to keep birds off of your home and off of your building. If you've got commercial buildings, they make uh, bird stakes and stuff, and I will link those below. Um, but you need to be able to eliminate the birds. You need to get rid of them first. So once you get rid of your bird problem, not only do you need to get rid of your birds, you also need to get rid of all of the bird nesting material. So if you've got, uh, you know, birds leave straw, hay, sticks, all kinds of garbage where they like to live. And so you need to take all of those debris. If the birds are actually roosting on your house or maybe up at the top of a column or a post, that's a real typical place to find a bird nest. You need to take those sticks and twigs and all that stuff and clean it up really good. Uh, in fact, I would recommend using something behind yourself in those areas like uh, Sterifab because it's more like a rubbing alcohol solution and it will kill the bird mites as well if it's if they're right there in that location if the bird mites are living there it will kill them there so you can use sterifab in those locations and it will also sterilize the the area with the birds are living because birds are disgusting and they poop everywhere they get their you know trash and garbage all over the place they're really rather disgusting so you need to sterilize the area where the birds have been living after you've cleaned away all of the birds, only after you've cleaned away all of the birds and gotten rid of this, that pest, 
Now we're going to talk about getting rid of the pest that actually bothers you, the bird mites. So the pesticide that you're going to want to use to eliminate bird mites is called Suspend SC, not Suspend Polyzone, so don't get them confused, but Suspend SC. It actually has bird mites on the label. So you're going to use this. Now, this is a general pesticide. This pesticide will kill things like spiders, ants, cockroaches, crickets, sow bugs, lots of bugs. There's lots of bugs on the Suspend label. Suspend is a synthetic pyrethroid called Delta Methrin. And I'm going to be honest, Delta Methrin is not one of my favorite pesticides. I've used it before on lots of different bugs and things, and I've just personally just have never really liked it as a chemical, but because it has bird mites on the label, and it does work for bird mites, it does a really good job on bird mites, and if this is something you're having problems with, you may want to look into getting Suspend SC. But what I would do is read your label. Always read your labels. So I recommend that people do this on every one of my videos where I advise people to use a pesticide. You should always read your label before you buy the chemical. And the reason you want to read the label before you buy your chemical is because you want to see if you even have the ability to use this pesticide. Delta methrin is something that needs to be applied at less than 50 PSI. So you don't need a high pressure treatment system to apply it. And so you want to you want to read that on your labels. You want to pay attention to your label and you want to make sure that the equipment that you have is actually going to be able to apply the pesticide the way you need to apply it. So once you've gotten the chemical and everything's mixed and you have a mixed solution in a gallon jug or a gallon sprayer, now we need to treat the area. So the way that you treat for bird mites is you want to treat the cracks and the crevices. You want to treat, and a crack and a crevice is, is, a, is a term that we use in the pest control industry all the time, and it means anywhere that a joint is created. So if you have a spot where a baseboard meets the floor, the crack where the cord around or the baseboard touch the floor, you want to treat in that crack. You also want to treat the crack around where the carpet meets the baseboard. And the, also, Suspend is labeled to use indoors and outdoors. So, because the bird mites will get inside your house, you want to treat around all your baseboards, all your windows, all your doors, the cracks where everything joins together. So, any crack around your window, any crack around your door, um, all up around the eaves of the house on the outside, around your uh, soffits, around your places at birds roost, um, all of the, and of course, like I said, you've gotten rid of the birds, so you, sh you should be able to treat those areas really well with the pesticide. So treat the cracks and stuff. If it's the top of a column, treat those cracks around the top of the column and make sure that you've, you've done a really thorough, really well application of suspend all the way around the inside and the outside of your home. Give this pesticide time to work. You may still experience bird mite issues after applying the chemical. If you're still having problems with bird mites in like two to three weeks, then you want to reapply then. You want to wait and let the chemical work, let it kill the mites. If it doesn't, if you do not get results right away, wait for two to three weeks, then reapply. So that's how you eliminate bird mites. So how do you keep this from happening again? I mean, you've already had this problem. You don't want to have it again. So I'm going to give you another step. This is a prevention step. It's designed to keep birds away from your house. So like I said below, I'm going to post some products that you can purchase. Um, you may want to hire a professional to install these products. Um, bird stakes, they're kind of like nails and they, they go straight up like this. And so the birds don't like to roost in them. They don't like to perch near them because they'll poke them and they don't like it. So you can get things like that to install along your roof edge. You can put them on the tops of your columns, on your posts and stuff. But I'll tell you, there are some simpler solutions. I have a customer 
who actually use little lawn gnomes. She's got these little concrete lawn gnomes, the little teeny tiny ones that look like the, when I was a kid, they called them trolls, where you grow up and you get the little troll, the little naked butt troll with the long hairdo. Uh, she has those, but they're lawn gnomes. They're about that size. And they're, they're little. And she puts them on top of all of her columns where the birds roost, and it keeps the birds away, and that does work for her. She also has a, a couple of columns where she couldn't fit a lawn gnome up there because they're just so narrow, but the birds try to live there. She took pieces of hardware cloth. Now, hardware cloth is like a, uh, it's like a wire mesh, and she put that up there, and that kept the birds from getting on those columns. So there are other options that you can do other than you know a professionally installed you know bird system like stakes and stuff like that. So hopefully this video has helped you. I, uh, you know, I, I, anytime that you have a question that you're wondering, you know, how to get rid of this bug or how to get rid of that bug, don't hesitate to leave me a comment below. This video was actually from a, uh, a question. So if you ever have a question, don't hesitate to ask. If it's something that I actually need to take time and make a video over, I will do it. I told him last night, this was just last night that I talked to the guy on the phone and I said, you know what? I need to do a bird mite video. I've never done one in over four years. I've never done a bird mite video. So hopefully this will help anyone out there that is suffering with these horrible things. I have actually infested my own vehicles before with bird mites by doing bird exclusionary jobs. I know what you're going through. They're an absolutely miserable pest. So. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, think about subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you later. Thanks a lot.